Meow Meow viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another stray video. This time the mission is Midtown, and it happens once the cat exits the subway, and he and B12 are on the lookout for Clementine. And unfortunately, because of a little weirdness in this mission, I had to replay it when I really didn't need to, and yeah, it's a little confusing, but it was a fun game, and I'm getting near the end of it, just as I'm continuing to play Red Dead Redemption 2 to 100%. So let's get on with this Midtown mission. Now, well, in this area, you can start interacting with people, and this guy gives you an interesting hint. On the back of the picture is an address, three dots, five dots. And when you go to the residence and you find that residence, you'll find Clementine. Thank you. 
Now, these three kids, they are helpful. You want to interact with them, and they assign you to take down the three video cameras, and if you do, they give you cassette tape, and that's very important in this mission. Now, like I said, I had already tried playing this mission through, and due to uh, sort of what I felt was a glitch, I had restarted it unnecessarily. But you can have some fun when you run around, and you can play at the door, but you gotta find the guy with a bomber jacket and a gold chain.
Now you got to go to the clothing store and then the hat store. Now the clothing store, you talk to the owner here, and Ozzy says, "Are you those kids?" Blah, blah blah blah. You know he doesn't like the loud music. Guess what? That's where this tape comes in handy. <laughs> Now that you got the jacket, you need to get the hat. And over here at this hat store, they want to restock. And you can't enter unless the other guy you talk to, you go to the bar and wake up the other guy who is going to help with restocking. Kind of interesting.
Since I'd already fumbled my way through this mission before, I've learned some tricks, and since I was forced to replay it due to my own stupidity, once you get under these gates, you got to watch out for these floating robots. This one you can get by easy. The others, well, it gets more complicated. And in this one, it has a blind spot. And once you get across these barrels and exploit the blind spot of the robot, you can get through the door, which is what you need to do at the other side. And you jump into here. Now this next robot has a blind spot and you hide right here and then you jump off and you can run, get around this robot's blind spot and then you follow under these recycling things as a way to exploit the blind spot of the robot which is what these recycling bins cause. And now you use this barrel to roll through the lasers and you will wind up um, needing the barrel later. So what I'm going to do is bring it fully through until I hit the bottom of this atomic battery stand.
Now the residence is crawling with robots, and you have to avoid them. If you get killed by the robots, you start all the way back at the area where the bucket drops you off. So you don't want to get shot by the robots. You start right back here, and you don't want to get shot by the robots. And I'm going to go back and talk to this guy, but the reality is you don't need to. He says the same thing he said before. Okay, now you got to put the note, no, blah, 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 the note together, and it's cryptic, 
It's her atomizer thing here. That's a crystal in her loft. Then it's a dummy in her bathroom. And then it's her um, lava lamp in her kitchen. This is where I thought the glitch happened and I had to restart the entire level. You don't get the note. Well, I decided to go to the nightclub anyway, and I kind of did a little research online before starting again. And yeah, you just don't want to get shot by the robots. It doesn't re-trigger this mission. You just want to leave the apartment and not get killed by the robots, and then go to the club one way or another. Yeah, I came back in right away to try and re-trigger the mission. Again, just go to the damn club right away. After, if you get shot by the robots and you're brought back into this house, it won't re-trigger the mission. Just go right to the club right after.
Clementine were sold out and you end up going to jail. Disappointing. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some specials and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.